Okay. Yeah. What we're going to actually do now is a situation where uh, you know, assault with a firearm. Now, normally, uh, a trained individual will not get close to the person that they are um, holding the weapon on. Uh, because you're increasing the opportunity and the danger levels for that person to try and to disarm you, and therefore you'll have problems with weapon protection. The, the situation is, if someone's trying to rob you, they need to get close to you to get their money, unless they're a little bit smarter and they'll direct you to throw them on the ground or right, before they shoot you. So what we're going to do is uh, look at some situations where he's, he's wanting more money, all right, he's trying to use a firearm. Now, if we have a situation where the guy's just simply walked up, all right, and he stuck a, um, a weapon into my body, so I thought behind the wall. All right, immediately, the first thing that you need to do is identify where the weapon is. There's no point going through a technique that the uh, looks absolutely great, but he has the weapon in the other hand, because you haven't validated where the weapon is. And it's important. Again, distraction. Feigning fear, people will underestimate you, and me being a little guy, I get underestimated a lot. So, it's a case, look, no, please, don't hurt me. Let me, let me get my wallet. Here's my son. And I move that to him, stay down the ground. Okay? And I see you in a fire position. So, how do we do that? So, again, comes in on from this other side. And these are all great, but you have to be moving fast and you have to control. A repetition is the mother of skill. So, it's a distraction, okay? Not here. Now, this is Dave, he hasn't held him onto a weapon, so that's great. Deep in the throat, my back. Alright, I wrench him, I kick him to the head. Now, I can take it from here. We have the bicep, we move the arm here. If the arm is down, just crush the bicep. Alright, crush the elbow as well by using the foot. All we need to do is come here and then just stomp it. At the same time, I kick him to the hip. Yes, I can kick him to the groin, and that will put him into a position where he's, he, he'll eventually get over that. If I kick him to the hip, into this position here, all right, it might do some damage to his pelvis. Okay, so he's not going to be able to chase it. So let's look at this one more time. Now, my individual is able to hold on to the weapon when I do my disruption, all right, here. If he discharges the weapon, it doesn't matter. What I need to do, though, is claim that weapon ultra-fast. From here, when I turn it, I make sure that the barrel is not facing towards me. I make sure that the barrel is facing back. All right? I take him away. All right? I chain him around, and I see him in my fire position. I've moved away, and I can control that individual. Okay? If there's more individuals that are presenting the threat, all right, I can defend myself. Now, it's all great to see these types of techniques, but as I said before, repetition is the mother of skill. You've got to practice these, okay? And a plan is only as good as until the first shot is fired, and then it goes to hell in a handbasket. All right, so you've got to be able to deal with that too. Have a good day, we'll talk to you next time.